Uh, my name is Tani Herrera. I was born and raised in the Bay Area. Uh, I make pyrography and heat art um, on leather and wood and animal bone uh, and vinyl records. <laughs> Um, I like to burn things. <laughs> no, I, I don't know what it is. I have always created art um, since I was a baby and I didn't really necessarily know what else to do with myself as an adult. Um, I tried every medium and um, I got to burning because um, in Costa Rica they would make paintings in the middle and then they would have little burned edges um, and I just loved the burn part and I didn't pick up on wood burning until probably 15 years later after I saw that. Um, and the idea came from uh, making a stencil uh, in a different way as opposed to uh, doing it with spray paint. I wanted to burn the stencil. So that's how the initial idea came about and I didn't know necessarily how to pull that off. So I ended up picking up a wood burning pen and uh, that was nine years ago. <laughs> Um, it depends on the medium. It depends. Uh, my process depends on what it is I'm working with. A lot of the times, what inspires me is finding things. Um, I'll find uh, canvas frames or um, uh, wine boxes or records. Um, anything that I can find and I can think to myself, oh, I can make something from that. Uh, maybe that's going to go to the trash. Uh, maybe I can make something beautiful. Like whatever it may be, I look at it, I see something, I get inspired by weird shapes. I do not get inspired by white square canvases. I know a lot of people are fine with it, but I just am not a fan. Um, so I like to get inspiration from organic things, I think, organic shapes, I should say. Um, and a lot of times I like to use things that are otherwise going to be tossed or thrown away and discarded because there's way too much trash in the world. There should be always more art. Well, I, I feel like I've always gravitated towards heat and fire and things like that. Um, I, what I've done instead is honed it. I've made it into something um, so I'm not a you know, crazy person who likes to light fires. I'm a person who has a controlled ability and um, is able to <clears throat> bring that ability to um, a place like this and be able to display it to a lot of uh, people and for everybody to appreciate it. I think that's the difference. And if you're just lighting a fire and enjoying it as opposed to honing it and making it something beautiful. Actually, my leather pieces that are hanging up over there, that's what it is. A lot of times when I know I'm on track is when I'm nervous. Um, if I'm nervous about it, if I'm, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> usually that's a good sign. Um, I like to um, think that my nervousness means that I'm stepping out of my boundaries. Um, <clears throat> I also like to present it to friends, people who have a good eye, and um, even just random people who I don't know and say like, hey, look, I just made this the other day. And a lot of times their reaction will let me know what it is I'm focusing on. For instance, these records that are behind me. Um, I made the very first one. It sold at the show that I uh, made it for. Um, and it was one of the first pieces to sell the night. And um, I didn't really think anything all that much of it. I was like, wow, it's a really cool piece. Meanwhile, fast forward about five months after I made it, I went to a random house party. I didn't know anybody there. Everybody there was about seven to ten years younger than me <laughs> and um, I basically we were out we were um, and somehow I got everybody's attention and they were all crowded around my phone and I was flipping through Instagram and I was like yes, I work with phone I work with leather I work with wood and then I was like oh yeah this last piece and I showed the very last piece I showed them was the vinyl and everybody exploded when I showed it to them they were like oh my god and they all like three of them busted out their phone and immediately started following me on Instagram so I was like okay that's the reaction that I want to get and I didn't necessarily know that myself it made me nervous when I was making it but I think when I bring it to the attention of everybody, that's when I actually know that it's that I'm going somewhere with it. I have a lot, of, I just have so many ideas that I can't possibly physically make them all. It's almost impossible. I mean, I feel like I'm an alien because I like, I'm like, can I just like think about it and poof, it appears. <laughs>
because it's just it's really hard for me to get to everything that's in my head. So there are these pieces that I started before this. Actually, um, they were one of the first burns that I did where they're um, multimedia. So they were burnings of stencils, and then um, uh, uh, it was also spray paint. And um, uh, what was the last thing? Oh, uh, transfers. So it was tra transfers, stencil, or spray paint, and uh, stencil burned. And the three, I think, was very beautiful. I still actually, I ended up keeping the piece because I just, I knew it was a moment in my career that I needed to keep myself. And it's a beautiful piece. It's a Muhammad Ali piece that says, I am the greatest. So it's also kind of really inspiring.